Okay, this is on the Crimson Ridge, I'm sorry, Crimson Ridge Circle in Rochester, Minnesota. That direction um, is the mouth of this circle where you can get out and go back on, um, crud, I don't remember the name of that road. But this is like up north of 55th Street in Rochester, Minnesota. I see this light now. Yeah, on camera it kind of looks something like this, but it looks very pink, and I want to know what those LEDs look like. Let me zoom in on them. So, are they heterogeneous? No, yes, they are. So that is, this is an example of a defective looking light right here in Rochester, Minnesota. Now I noticed this like a month ago and I haven't uh, even plotted, actually I may have even ended up deleting the videos to get space, but it wasn't really that exciting and there actually is an area though I still want to put on the map because I don't know if I understand it here. I just didn't take the time with this one and I still haven't done south of 55th Street either yet. In Rochester. It's kind of got pooped out. But yeah, you can clearly see on this, the pattern on this. These are not all the same. This is a, at least, this is an example of a light that's gone defective or undergone damage. Right here. I really wondered though, because with the other ones, did you see like how many, there's three out of what? Like, how many again? Three out of... Three out of 10, that's 30% of them, right? And how does that in impact its actual light, right? This is closer to the street even than most of the like the purple street lights in Mankato, Minnesota. It looks pink. It doesn't even, it barely affects like the actual road, if you look at this. If this was one of the newer purple street lights with the high spectra, like what is it, 3K or 5K Kelvins? I'm sorry, 3,000 or 5,000 Kelvins? This would be lighting the street up purple right here, and this one is not. To me, there's clearly something different about these LED lights and the other LED lights that they keep saying are just defective lights. Well, sure, maybe they're defective. This doesn't have enough LEDs on it to tell us whether it was, you know, um, somebody took like a laser to it or something like that. It is just on the edges and it is on the um, inside most ones, the ones that are closest to the pole. But this would have looked like the other ones, like semi-gold or amber in color. Like I'm going to go to a control, I think, here. A negative control for that thing, for damage. Actually, there's a car underneath that one, so maybe not. Uh, let's go to this one. I don't know. This one might be golder than that light, but let's take a look at it. And that's even a shorter light. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to get a, some footage on my other... My phone camera, too. There's clearly a difference between the newer street lights with the defects and these lights. They did something different with them. And I think it's intentional, and I think it's eventually for depopulation. This is what a gold one looks like. It just looks really gold. It'd be very interesting to go under every single street light and look at them. But you notice the infrequency of this? Like, I don't know, maybe you don't, but I do. I've looked at like, what, 2,000 street lights here in Rochester. This is like the, maybe the only example that I know of that looks pink like this. So what's the difference and what's going on? Can you even tell that that looks, does that look really violet here? Because before the other ones look really blue, right? 
even if only some of them are changed. It looks very purple and this does not. So I hope I make some kind of point here that there is definitely a difference. Somebody's YouTube comment doesn't look like it's an error to me about the newer LED streetlights burning a lot hotter and having a lot more of the, well, I can't speak for the ultraviolet spectra, but for more of the violet spectra in them. Like if those LED lights look like that, well sure, I'm sure there's UV light in it and stuff like that, but, but the spectrum is, doesn't look as blue. So, I hope I've made my point.